Okay, I'm back for even more. Let's go get these first. I'm debating whether I should go explore this place. Maybe I should get some collectibles and stuff. Because, you know, you guys really want to watch that, don't you? Yeah, you do. Oh, what the hell? Oh, well, let's just get on with the game. I mean, there's a time and place for everything. No, I don't want to copy. There's Polly. There's Polly. Polly. Uh. Just an egg, you were just gonna steal it. <laughs> Polly, you're walking around. Oh, she's sitting down. I haven't seen her do that before. Oh. oh. Hi. This is the place you should buy it. I don't think you get it later in the game. No. Let's buy some worms, normal worm. As opposed to abnormal. Okay. Let's talk some. Oh. No! I don't wanna buy it! Gosh darn, I wanted to talk. No, I'm not gonna take it easy. I'm, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, it's to spite you. Oh, hi. Yeah. She doesn't have anything interesting to talk about. So I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> Madness. This is Green Vale. Police car. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. Ooh. Now I'll get to see how the driving controls are. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Boost, brakes, honk. Steer. Um... Alright. 
to uh, will get the hang of it. Oh my god, slow motion keys. <laughs> oh, the flare looks new. Oh, how do I change? Take me a while to get used to again. Um. So, about those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DiBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. But I never had a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty The internet. Yeah, that's... <sighs> One of the best things about this game, the conversations you have with Zack and Carl. <laughs> I have to say that the driving is a lot better. What I, as far as I can tell, and then I just go and botch everything up. Oh. Well, that's life, you guys. <laughs> That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? <gasps> Use the ham, you guys! Use the ham! <laughs> Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the Thomas. sheriff's assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh no no, just doing my job. I just. I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Thomas! Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost Get a like great viewer. Serious business. 
No time for you to yoke around. We got some kitties. Let's look. Oh my god, look at them pictures. Iron body. What? Kar karate do? What the hell is that? Some kind of mix between karate and judo? Okay, protein. What does that say? Heart? Fishing? Oh my god, what does that say? It says lingerie of city. Um telephone book cruising. Oh my god. This is madness. This is madness, guys. Looks like Emily's locker. I'm curious as to what's inside. Though I shouldn't be snooping around. Dear God, York. Why? Or oh, a dumbbell. Zach, there's a name written on oh this dumbbell. God. Arnold. <laughs> I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Oh my god, the game is... I don't even know what happened there. More keys? Oh, a turkey sandwich. Um, nom nom. Oh, it's a card. Yeah, I'm just looking at stuff. It's nice. Look at the details. This was kind Hi. of hard before. I'll talk to you, Emily. I love you. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, look at his face. Those soulless eyes. Oh my god, at first I thought that the, the badge on his head said GTFO. But no, I'm glad. Is this Emily's desk? Uh, all right. Maybe, maybe. Uh, let's go. Orch. I think he has a mm -hmm. side quest for us. George, do you work out every day? 
course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zack. But I can't do my full routine today. You and me both. Without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. found him actually yep uh, gonna give you this George I found Arnold really <laughs> you were truly soon for he's a bit hard-headed but I got him this right back. Huh? Uh. oh <laughs> Arnold well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Huh? Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. So that makes us even. Funny how you would shut up. I don't know you anything, and Shedding you don't owe me anything. Uh, no changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zach? We need some friends who aren't so dumb. <laughs> well, what I was gonna say was that it's funny how you would shed a trading card of his own dumbbells. <laughs> Talk. Hmm? Oh, poor Thomas. You need to be nice to him. He's doing his best. And I miss looking around even more. This is the most exciting LP ever. Let's go into the women's... No. Can't do that. We can't even go into the men's bathroom. Have we been in here? No, we haven't. A well-organized storage room. No doubt this is Tom Thomas's work too. Whoever gets to marry him will be spoiled rotten. Aww. I love you too, Thomas. Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Those are some colorful cans of something. And even more keys. A raincoat? Yeah. It doesn't look like it's been used much, even though it rains here pretty often. What waste of nice fabric, eh, Zach? First, actually, let's look at this. Find some keys. You found the keys. Showing. I think so. Is this it? Uh, 
You don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. We sure do know a lot about squirrels. Uh, I love Thomas and, it, and his obsession for squirrels. Hmm. It's cute. You found the key. I hope so. Uh, no, this is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. The sugar glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? <laughs> you found the key. Is this the one you were looking for? This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the US, Canada, and in England, too. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern <laughs> flying squirrel right now. Yeah, yeah. We know that, but we want to listen to your talk, Thomas. That's why we're bringing you everything. All the keys. Bring all the keys. Let's go down here. We can push this against the wall and, the, and it will break, I think. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh man. I'm gonna destroy this crate. Then I got the metal. Fancy that. So this is the prison. Oh, you can do some practice here. Striped squirrel. Practice. Why you not let me? Why you not let me? I need to practice my gun hand. Huh. <laughs> you can go in and sleep there. How nice, how quaint. Anything in these other ones? What the hell? I can open this one? Oh, there's a guy in there. Oh, I saw a golden. It's special. Yeah, it's blocked off. Anyway, let's go back to. Thomas! Thomas, we found your key! Oh, 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 oh. I'm coming. Thomas, I saved the day. What the hell, Emily? Why are you in here? <sighs> yeah, I am. I don't want to talk to you because I, well, I was wondering what you were doing. You know. You found I'm gonna the key. show him this first because I hope this is the right one. Uh, 
you found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it isn't even a squirrel. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Hmm. Man, Thomas is really scatterbrained. I mean, he's lost all these keys. You need to keep better track of your keys, found man. The key. That's the right yeah. one. Oh, he's yes. so happy. A southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the AMG diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually, I, well, I, I baked them myself. Hmm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. <laughs> uh, Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. <laughs> York is just en entranced by the biscuit. Oh, man. I love this game. I love it. Anyway. I believe that this is enough for today. And so, see you later. Bye.